from JD News, live from Draper, Utah. Monday, March 16th, 2020. This is Good Morning Juan Diego. So good morning, JD. It's Monday morning, March 16th. Uh, Before we continue on with anything else, why don't we just begin with prayer? In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. Saint Saint Juan Diego, Diego, be our angel angel and protect us. Stay Stay with us as we struggle in this modern modern life, often often not knowing knowing where to set our priorities. Help us to pray to our God, to obtain obtain the gifts of the Holy Spirit, Spirit, and use them for the good of humanity and the good of our church. Through the heart of Our Lady Lady Guadalupe, to the heart of Jesus, Jesus. amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, Son, and the Holy Holy Spirit, Spirit today. Amen. So, we want to start a couple of things. Uh, The word of the day. So, the word of the day today is relax. I want you to think about that. But before we go on with that, something's been bugging me. The other day when we started, you brought up this whole thing about the, the St. Anne's Falcons and the Lady of Lords Lancers, and you were kind of digging at me, and it's been bugging me. So I kind of want to put that out on the table there and get it off my, get I, it off my chest. I have to say, it's born out of massive insecurity about my time at Kearns St. Anne Elementary School, and perhaps I was maybe too aggressive in talking about how St. Anne's consistently beat Our Lady of Lords Lancers in every sport. (laughs) But where it came from is that we weren't always the Falcons. Until I was in the fifth grade, we were the St. Anne Orphans. Our mascot was an orphan. So we would show up at games with a mascot who was an orphan. And like that just really didn't cut it for us. And so we had this revolt in sixth grade with the nuns that said, we have got to change our mascot. We have to change our mascot. And so we took this big vote and everybody chimed in on what they should be. And we became the Falcons. And so now I look back on it and I think, you know, my attack on you with the Our Lady of Lords Lancers really is symptomatic of the insecurities I felt about being the St. Anne orphans. So there was this latent, deep-seated anger that you kind of carried on through all of your elementary school years. It was Freudian. I think it was Freudian. It just (laughs) bubbled out of me. And all of a sudden, I'm attacking you. I'm so sorry I did that to you. It took me off guard. You know know how much I respect the Our Lady of Lords Lancers. And I should not have done that to you. But then, in reflection, it's really me that I had never really processed that we were the orphans. Well, I appreciate you owning that, Dr. Colossus. That's a good thing. Are we good? good? Oh, we should have. We should have. Yeah. We should not have done that. We should yes. not have done that. All right. So our, our, I'm glad we got that cleared up. Uh, our word of the day today is relax. So there's one thing what we want to leave you with, and I'm going to ask Dr. Colosimo students to take you through what you need to focus on today. So what's the one thing you want the students to focus on today? Relax. That's the first thing. We're entering into a really cool thing a really innovative thing, and the thought that you're going to be perfect today, Monday, at executing all that we're asking you to do is unrealistic. We don't expect that. And so what we want you to try to accomplish today, it should be, you know, you should be watching this very first thing. It's 8.30 in the morning. Hopefully you are uh, watching it live. If not, you'll be watching it. But the deal's this. Between 9 and 3, according to the schedule that we've sent out to you, and you can find that, we simply want you to navigate the courses. It's D-Day. What are the classes you have on D-Day? All of your teachers have emailed you what it is specifically they want you to do with blended online learning today. Do your very best to get through the six courses that blended online learning work that they want for you today. And then just see where you are at the end, at 3 or 3.30, just see. Some of you may finish early, that's fine. Some of you may struggle through some things that, that uh, will hold you up, that's fine. The word of the day is relax. Do your very best to do one thing today, and that is navigate D-Day courses that have been prescribed for you. The emails and the teachers have sent that to you. If you do that today, even if you don't complete everything that you've been asked to by the teachers, consider today a success. Very simple, students. That was, Dr. Klosmo said it very well. Get through the day with those six periods. Um, 
So those are your marching orders. Before we, we're going to have a short video today, but before we leave, I just want to clarify one thing. There's been some confusion, and thank you for the emails that you've sent to us and administration wanting to clarify things. We appreciate that. Today, school will be open until 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. You, if you need to come in to get a textbook or something from your locker so that you can follow through on what we've asked you to do, just come in and pick up those things. That may mean that you're going to miss logging on to a class. That is okay. Email the teacher and let them know that you're going to be picking up something from school. It will all work out today. Have it be a goal that tomorrow you have everything you need physically, textbooks, binders, whatever you need to get through tomorrow. That's your goal today. Okay? So before we leave, we just want to shift gears here a little bit. This whole social isolation thing. Um, it's not easy for everybody. Let's just acknowledge that, especially as, as Christians, as Catholics, is that we also have a responsibility as we navigate through this to be aware of the humanity of this experience. We want you to look after one another. Pick up the phone and call your friends. Check in with your friends that you know may not have a tight friend group. Be true examples of St. Juan Diego as you go through the day today. But I also want you to be conscious of the elderly. Many elderly folks are socially isolated anyway. Before this social isolation, they were already socially isolated. So now it's likely for many of those people, my uncle, other people that I know, they're even more socially isolated. So here's your challenge today as true servants servant leaders at Juan Diego. Find a way to reach out to somebody, um, be it in a safe way, be a text or phone call, or actually write something in the mail, put something in the mail, to make those that are socially isolated in an unhealthy way to feel a little more like they belong. With that, we're gonna say goodbye. Have a great day, JD. Dr. Colosimo and I will see you tomorrow, and quite possibly, we'll have a special guest for you tomorrow. Have a good day. Have a good day, guys. Thank you.